He appears to be just like any normal 13-year-old boy, playing with his brothers and sister and getting up to all sorts of mischief. However, life for Emmett and for all five of his adopted siblings is not easy. They contracted HIV before they were born. They were adopted by Ka Kwan. She's been looking after HIV-infected children since 1991. Two of Emmett's siblings were abandoned on her doorstep as babies, the others given up by parents who didn't want the responsibility of a sick child. Ka Kwan saw a need to help these children immediately. Bringing the community on board took more time, nearly a decade. If it's a, a, a face to face, then I have to explain to them the reason why we have to take care of these uh, positive children. So I just hope that whatever I have uh, explained can educate them. There are few like Kakwan willing to care for children with HIV. She gives them hope of a brighter future. When I leave school, I would like to be a mechanic. I really like fast cars. Government figures suggest there are over 13,000 children in legally registered care homes, but no statistics on those with HIV. The children that Kakwan has adopted are seen as fortunate, taken in by a woman who is kind and selfless, according to her community. Yet these children were taken in as babies. It's far more difficult for others. The government has assembled a consultative and advisory council on children, which includes civil society and parents. The minister in charge is aware more needs to be done for sick children. There are the children who are disabled, uh, impaired, um, medically they're not well. The best interest of the child is paramount interest to the council. And we have lively, good discussion. And from there, we'll, we'll come up with uh, policies, we'll come up with a um, plan of action that is very focused on the types of children that I just mentioned. Kakwan's only adopted daughter is paralysed and has cerebral palsy. Taking on four more kids who also have HIV proves her compassion for children scarred through no fault of their own. She offers them a future rather than a life in an institution. They gain a loving, secure home and a woman they call mum. Sahil Rahman, Al Jazeera, Sungai Bolo, Malaysia.